All right, so this is Project Rebuild. <laughs> it's been quite some time since I've been in a gym. I've had a pretty long winter. Um, it's definitely affected me uh, mentally. And with the mental, it's affected me physically. Um, I've just been a bit depressed, not feeling too motivated. I don't know, man, just been going through a lot, you know, so I've kind of slacked up a little bit in terms of my training. So what I'm doing right now is building myself back up. I've been working on building myself back up mentally, and now I'm working on building myself back up physically, you know, so that I can have a healthy mind and body. And with that, I'll be able to execute a lot of plans that I have, you know, um, and one of the plans that I have is sharing this journey with you of uh, rebuilding my body and elevating my mind. I know a lot of people are going through a lot in the world and you can probably relate to this, you know, if you've dealt with depression. It's something that I had no idea that I had complete control over, right? Um, I've listened to a lot of information, read a lot of books, had a lot of talks, and really took a lot of time to look within myself. And I realized that what I am feeling in my mind is not who I am because I'm not my, I'm not my mind or my body. But ultimately, I have control over my thoughts. I have control over my actions. I can't let my thoughts control me in the way that they've been controlling me. I'm just working on fixing my mind and I'm working on fixing my body because that is something that I have control over. So without talking too much, I wanna get into my workout. Now the workout that I have planned, is not as intense of a workout, um, it's more just kind of getting my body reacclimated to certain lifts. Um, I haven't lifted weights in, I don't know, maybe about three months, so I'm not that far behind, but I've got aches and pains and things like that from just the lack of movement. I hadn't been stretching and doing mobility, you know, lots of things that I pride myself on. I'm turning 40 years old now too, so I have a different attitude when it comes to the way that I train. It's all about longevity now, so. We're gonna train smart here. Um, so if you're dealing with aches and pains um, and you just wanna focus on just building a stronger body, a healthier body, this is gonna be a good workout for you. It's good for beginners, uh, it's good for intermediate people, it's good for you know people who are a lot more advanced. Um, but if you're a beginner or more intermediate, this can be a good one for you. So this is all about rebuilding, so we're gonna focus on the basics today. So, first exercise I'm gonna focus on, I like to start from the ground up. So we're gonna work on legs. I wanna get under this bar and do some barbell squats, but I just don't feel like I'm quite ready for it yet. So what I'm actually gonna do is focus on goblet squats, all right? So we've got three sets of goblet squats that we're gonna do. We're gonna take about a 60 second rest in between. Eight to 12 reps is a good rep range for you know most beginners because if you're new to an exercise, uh, just focusing more on that higher rep range just gives you more opportunity to get better at those movements So the more reps you do the more efficient you can become good thing is you don't have to go super heavy either So what we're doing is just focusing on technique here So we're gonna go nice and slow three seconds down and then we're gonna explode up We're gonna just focus on eight reps for three sets today. So start with a weight that you can control um, It's been a minute for me I'm just, gonna, I'm just gonna start pretty light, <laughs> just to see how I feel. Um, my cardio sucks too, because during my time of depression, I developed a terrible vaping habit, so it's really affected my cardiovascular endurance as well. I, I, I felt it around the times where I've been doing certain exercises. You know, I've just been working out and just my lung capacity just isn't what it used to be, but I've eliminated vaping for a good three weeks now. During those first few weeks, man, I just I just felt kind of like cloudy mentally, you know? Um, just didn't really quite like feel like myself. I felt like I was a zombie. Um, but I got a little bit more mental clarity now. Um, but 
yeah, we got to get the lungs back. So if I'm huffing and puffing and stuff like that, no judgment. I'll get back to you now. I'll get back to where I was. All right. But let's get into it. We got three sets, eight reps. to do is try to focus on your breathing when you do these movements as well um, that's going to be important for uh, your endurance also um, and power output uh, so when I'm doing that squat as I'm lowering down I'm focusing on breathing in through my nose and into the diaphragm so we're just taking a breath in and then a breath out as we fire back up um, and also when you do that squat too, you know, a lot of people sometimes uh, they have the knees that cave in or sometimes they even bend the knees forward. All right, so you don't want that. What you want to do is focus on shooting the hips back, right? And then knees going forward. So shoot the hips back and try to drive, and try to sit back on the heels or maybe just kind of place the weight in the center of the feet pretty much. Make sure that you drive those knees out when you come up out of that squat too. So knees aren't in, knees are out. Drive those hips back, lower under control, keep that weight in the center of the feet, and then drive back up. Practice on just lowering nice and slow so you can, you know, just really focus on the control of the movement too. So remember what I said, we got three seconds down, and then just drive up, concentrate, I'm gonna get into set number two. Um, like I said, this is this is just a, a rebuild. I can maybe push myself a little bit more, but I just want to play it a little bit safer now. After I get to this workout, I'll see how my body feels, and during the next workout, if I want to increase the weight, I'll do that. But gotta take my time with it, you know. Train smart and hard, but just train smarter than hard. I try to think of a more zesty way of saying that. <laughs> so we're gonna go from 30 to 35. But once again, we got eight breaths. something that anybody can do if obviously you're capable of but it's something that you can do um, as often as you want throughout the day um, it really helps to alleviate a lot of aches and pains in the hips and the low back um, yeah just being able to have access to this range of motion you know and just sit here comfortably right as I am right now you know <laughs> it's just a functional movement it's just, just a movement that the body is kind of designed to do, so to speak. Um, so yeah, just being able to do this for the rest of my life is one reason why I try to practice doing this uh, every day. All right, so 
We got one more set. Woo! All right, so I'm just gonna stick with the 35s here. Um, after this set, we're gonna rest for about 60 seconds or two minutes, whatever. Get yourself some water or something like that. Uh, try to stay nice and loose. Um, we're gonna go right into another leg exercise and that's gonna be walking lunges. I like to go from bilateral and unilateral when I'm training legs, you know. Um, it's good to train both legs at the same time, uh, but it's also good to train each leg separately too. So if you have any imbalances and things like that, see if one leg is weaker than the other, then you can address that by doing single leg movements because once you are able to build even strength in both legs separately, they can work together more efficiently as well. So after, we, after this last set of goblets, we're gonna go into walking lunges. And I got a nice little tip for people who may have an issue with filling their glutes with walking lunges too. I'll show you what that is when we get to it. All right, here we go, last set. Hey, 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 hey. Say that. <laughs> you thought. <laughs> Ooh. All right. So that's three sets, eight reps. Um, I have the workout with the sets and reps in the description of this video. I'll also share clips for the workout on my Instagram, and I'll actually have a document. Um, available that I can send you. Oh, we just got that part. I don't even have that document ready yet. <laughs> but anyways, all right. I gotta get a document ready though. I gotta get a document ready. You guys have issues with procrastination? Yeah. I know that's just an issue of mine sometimes. You know, I just have you know a lot of different ideas of things that I like to work on, but I don't know, man. Things just kind of get in the way. I just kind of let them get in the way, honestly. I can just kind of move them out of the way and just get my shit, you know, just kind of get shit done. But I don't know, sometimes just doing things that make you a little bit more comfortable. <laughs> just feel better. But ultimately, doing what you want to do, doing what you feel that you need to do, makes you feel better, especially when you do it. Like I'm doing this shit right now. <laughs> feels good. I haven't worked out in so long, but it feels. Good and bad at the same time. Cause bad because I'm like, God damn, this shit used to be so easy. But good because I know that I can always get back. I just gotta put in the work again. So, and then at the same time, I'm recording it, documenting it. I've been wanting to do this for so long too. So I'm glad that I'm actually putting it into action and sharing my journey with you. I'm hoping you can find some inspiration, gain some knowledge. Feel free to try this workout. Give me some feedback, you know, about how you feel about it too. I got plenty of more where this came from too, so. All right, so we got, now next exercise, we got walking lunges. Um, for the walking lunges, we're gonna do three sets, eight on each leg, so we're gonna count to 16. All right, so I'm gonna start with light weight, and then depending on how I feel, I'll increase the weight. Once upon a time, I was able to do walking lunges with about like 70 pounds in each arm. Uh, but we're going to reduce that significantly to about 25. <laughs> Let's see how we feel. I'm going to give you a nice little tip as well on how you can ex ex um, execute these lunges and kind of fill a little bit more in your glutes too, you know? So sometimes people might have an issue with filling even their glutes. So I saw something on Squat University's channel um, where there was a young lady 
when she did her squat, when she did her lunge, she noticed that she felt it more in her glutes when she would rotate. Now, I don't know exactly why this works, but truly, when I rotate to this direction, I already can see me shit trembling too. Let me drop the weight. <laughs> but when I rotate to this direction, I actually feel more activation in the glute meat, you know, just that side part of the butt. It's something about it. I'm rotating and I just feel it, you know. So when I do the walking lunge, also when you do your lunge, try to open this knee up a little bit so you can really get a good stretch in here. But at the same time, when you open this knee, you turn it on that glute meat a little bit more too, that side part of your butt, you know. So maybe it's something about this opening and then rotating in just gives it a harder contraction. But when I do the walking lunge, what I'm gonna focus on doing is taking that step, driving that knee open, and then rotating in, boom, and then driving out of it. So I take that step, take the step, rotate, step through. Take the step, knee open, rotate, boom. And then just try to step through, so. I think uh, I'm gonna focus on just doing this with body weight first. See how I feel. And then maybe add a little bit of weight after. I mean, just goes to show you how deep condition I feel. You know, so we're gonna get it back. So while I'm taking these steps, I'll just squeeze my fist just so I can create more tension in my body helps me to generate more power coming out of the lunge. It just helps me to generate more, a harder contraction when I step as well. Crazy pump in the quads right now, and I definitely feel it in the glutes. Oh man, I'm over here trying to make life decisions. Should I grab the weight? Or should I just focus on doing it without the weight? <laughs> you know, either or I'm still getting it in. But like I said, I just don't want to push myself too hard. It's just kind of like a field test, you know. I just kind of want to see how my body responds. I'm already getting winded. I should probably focus on my breathing too. But we got two more sets. Um, I'll see how I feel after the second set. I'll do the second set without any weight, and then um, I'll feel pretty good after the second set. I'll just add some weight to it. And, uh, get her done. If you guys got anything that you're trying to address to, uh, let me know. Like, just let me know in the comments. Let me know if, uh, what kind of workout you'd like to see me put together as well. I'm always open to suggestions. All right, here we go. Second set.
first time I step out of that lunge, let's just say when I step up and drive through there, I'm trying to push the hip forward and tuck and squeeze the glute right here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So squeeze it, hips forward, hard contraction, use that booty. <laughs> One of the reasons that people have a lot of back pain is because you have weak glutes. It's supposed to stabilize that upper torso, right? It's supposed to stabilize that low back. So if you got a weak link, then one of those other muscles are gonna to have to take over, right? The glutes are supposed to stabilize that low back. So if the glutes are weak, then the low back is working a lot harder than it should. And that's gonna cause lots of aches and pains because it's taking over too much of the work. So you need everybody to work together. So you need them ass cheeks to join the party. heavier <laughs> I'm not gonna push heavier but uh it's been a while so I just I gotta I'm not a, it's no no ego lifting honestly you know I just have to meet myself where I am right now kind of accept where I am right now and just continue to work so I can improve the thing about the unilaterals is I don't have to rest as long you know because while one side's working the other side's resting too so I can kind of get right back to it so here we go. With that chest press too, make sure that make sure that your your shoulders, you want to make sure that you've got good posture with this by the way, you know. So try to lift that chest and get those shoulder blades back. Okay, so chest is lifted, abs are tight, right? Keep that chest up tall. Lower under control. Feel that stretch in your pec. Abs stay tight so that you're not wobbling over. So maybe squeeze this fist so you can create more tension and stability in your body. So try to squeeze that dumbbell and point those knuckles up to the ceiling. So you're punching a roof each time you press, right? So squeeze that dumbbell tight, under control. You're punching that roof. Big chest. Feel that stretch.
30 seconds. too much on the weight, but just try to increase repetitions as the weeks go by. So for about maybe three to four weeks max, this is a workout that I'm gonna to return to and just try to increase the repetitions every time. And then once I get to, let's just say, I'm starting at eight, once I'm able to get to a good three sets of 12 or 15, then I'll increase the weight and kind of adjust the, uh, the amount of sets that I do too. All right, so we got back next, so. All right, so next movement I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do cable rows. We're gonna do seated cable rows. So um, uh, a way that I actually um, bring in income is uh, through driving with lift. And uh, one thing about driving for long amounts of hours is that you're doing a lot of sitting and not necessarily exercising the best posture, right? So I've always been one to um, be, uh, take pride in my posture, you know, being nice and upright, you know, when I'm moving around or just standing, but just doing a lot of driving, you're kind of here. Um, when you're depressed, you're kind of here. When you're sitting down, you know, you're just you're here. There's not much of this going on, so these muscles in that mid part of the back and upper part of the back, they're getting kind of weak. And that can cause a lot of uh, tension in your low back as well because, you know, when you're slouching forward, those muscles go forward, these muscles just kind of curve forward. And then that causes a lot of, a little bit of a pull in that low back, you know, so trying to do exercises to reinforce good posture can be helpful. Tall chest and focus on hinging forward a little bit getting that nice stretch in the back, pulling with the elbows, squeezing at the top, just squeeze. <laughs> for about 30 seconds with this one. Um, just cause this doesn't feel as challenging. I guess it's good to know that at least my back is still pretty strong. I, I, my favorite types of movements are pulling movements anyway. I don't push as much as I pull. 
So I, mean, I love to do deadlifts and pull-ups and rows and things like that. Uh, I would do that all the time. If I, would, if, if I would ever miss a day in the gym, it'll probably be like a chest day, but rarely ever a leg or back day. So it feels good to know that my, my pulling is still pretty strong. All right, so we're gonna go into the second set. I think instead of doing eight reps, I'm just gonna do 10. That's all good. Here we go. affected in a lot of ways too you know so now that I'm kind of getting back to lifting I want to make sure that I'm getting back to eating the way that I need to eat so I had a good protein filled breakfast this morning so when I'm done with the workout I want to make sure that I have a nice protein filled lunch it's like almost 4 30 here I'm eating lunch a little bit later than I want to but hopefully I can get a, a third meal in if not it's all good. I mean, I tried. I'll just do better tomorrow. Um, schedule is just a little bit crazy today, so sometimes I'm just not able to eat as often as I like to, but, you know, I'm turning things around, you know, so. All right, so we got one more exercise that we're going to do. I would like to do an ab exercise, but I just kind of want to get out of here because I'm a little bit over my time and I have somewhere to go in the next two hours, so we'll just focus on abs tomorrow. I'll even upload a separate ab workout video for you guys to uh, see and try as well if you guys want some gore, good core exercise ideas but I want to make sure I touch the shoulders okay so we got legs we got chest we got back now we're going to get shoulders and then we're good to go so um what we're going to do for shoulders um we're going to do damn <laughs> what are we going to do for shoulders it's like I want to I want to push with my shoulders, so we're gonna push. Um, so we're gonna do um, shoulder presses. We're gonna do alternating shoulder presses at that too. So uh, we're gonna go pretty light just to see how we feel. We're gonna do 16 reps, so we're gonna do eight on each side. Um, we're gonna start pretty light. So I think we're gonna start with 30 pounds. We're gonna do them seated too. So just so I can uh, take my legs out of it so I can't cheat, you know, I gotta push. I just gotta push this shit. <sighs>
just when I get home, as I'm preparing to head out tonight, I probably just do like a few sets of planks or something like that, you know, just so I can get reconnected with my core because since I've been sitting, you know, so much and hadn't been training a lot, I've been I've become a little bit disconnected with the abs. So doing planks would be a good way to just focus on creating that tension in my abs and reconnecting so I can do other exercises. Okay, here we go, set two. Let me just train my abs tomorrow. It's all good. <laughs> do what you can. This is the meat and potatoes right here though. It's the meat and potatoes. <laughs> Honestly, my shoulders have always been a weak link for me, you know? I feel like if I strengthen my shoulders more, it can help a lot more with my pushing, especially like chest press, bench press, and everything like that. I don't know, I need to figure out a different way to train my shoulders so I can build them more. I need to figure out different exercises or something like that to do. Um, I'll do some research and start practicing and see what happens. Um, but that's gonna be a part of my uh, rebuild is trying to Build my shoulders, you know, I just want them to be a little bit bigger. Have you ever heard of Dana Lynn Bailey? I'm sure if you guys are into bodybuilding, you've probably heard of Dana Lynn Bailey. She's got like freaking pumpkin shoulders. Like she's freaking jacked. She's got an amazing body. I feel like she's in her 40s too. I could be wrong. If she ever sees this, don't feel insulted, but you still look amazing. <laughs> but like, yeah, I gotta get one of her programs. I gotta watch some of her videos and do, do what she's doing because her shoulders are amazing. But that's always been a lagging muscle group is the shoulders, so. We're gonna try to uh, figure out a way to address that. But we got one more set, and we're Gucci. All right, so the goal is 16, but I'll just do what I can, but I just wanna stick with the same weight. Here we go. <sighs> okay okay so that was it um like i said i normally i would want to get to my abs but i don't really have time so we're just going to wrap it up right there but i'm going to have the workout description for you in the comments or in the description i'm sorry um so remember the movements uh we had goblet squats for three sets of eight Walking lunges for three sets of 16. We had single arm chest press for three sets of eight on each side, followed by seated cable rows um, for three sets of eight, and then alternating shoulder press, three sets of 16. So that's eight on each side. Um, I'll share a separate ab workout for you guys later on. Um, hopefully you enjoyed the workout. Feel free to try it. Uh, Leave some comments for me. Let me know what you think. Give me some workout. Uh, give me some suggestions of, of other content that you feel that I should upload. Um, please do like, share, subscribe, hit the notification bell and all that good stuff, you know, so you can stay updated on the latest workouts. Join me on a journey. I appreciate you guys watching.